So yesterday I was kind of inspired by you guys asking for shaded region problems. So today I have some shaded region problems for you guys. Uh, just give me a second to like go grab them. <laughs> yeah, I still need a second. Give me one second. What's up, Tages? <laughs> Toadie. use a calculator for that one pages yeah these are complex so get ready dude happy birthday to Rusum. yeah you made it bro you did it why don't you guys have school tomorrow what is going on what's october 9th what's up venna yeah okay so let me pull this music down dude i um I got some, um, some, I put like, I was going through my old videos and I found this beat and it was like really the most serious beat that I've ever heard in my life. Um, what's up, Zhao? Yeah. That had really hard ones. What stream was that, April? There's been so many streams. It's like, I have over a hundred. He's having a birthday tomorrow. So everybody gets the day off work. Thanks, Rusum. Thanks, buddy. Um, <laughs> dude, Pokar, keep grinding, bro. You got it. Um, what's up, President? All right, cool. So let's go into these like kind of advanced shaded region problems. I kind of want to start with a super hard one, but I'm not going to do that to you. We're going to, ooh, yeah, we're going to ease into these. So, <laughs> yeah, so we're going to ease into these. Um, summer where you did two questions and ended it. Yeah, I do remember that one. That one was the one that was like, I'm late. And it was a picture of like that rabbit from... Alice in Wonderland. Okay, so it's time. It's four minutes into it. If you're not here, you're not here. So let's get cracking. Let's start with these first geometry questions. I don't have that many for you, so we can work on whatever you guys want to work on. But I'm like, uh, let's get some hard ones. Um, happy birthday to Band Legends mom. <laughs> happy birthday to your mom, bro. Tell her I said hi. Um, okay, so let's get into these questions. Uh, here's the first one. These are so good. These are so good. Okay, cool. So that's a circle. I'm going to give you guys like, I don't know, two minutes to do this one. Let's get it. Hey, just, we can't do that one, man. There's not going to be sine, cosine, and tangent on the SHSAT, bro. You got to save that to OG. Dude, your birthday's on the, one of your friend's birthday's on an SHSAT day. Dude, that would be painful. That would be absolutely painful. <laughs> yeah, this geometry problem is your birthday cake. Dude, shout out to Leo's dad. Happy birthday. <laughs> Tell, happy birthday, bro. <laughs> Tell your dad I said what up. Uh, yeah, that tracks Tages, but I'd have to check on a calculator. All right, I'm going to give you guys like another minute to wrap this one up. You guys can do it. Or maybe I should give you two more minutes. I think this one's kind of hard. Yeah, like with this question, there's a lot of information. Uh, just make sure you're able to work through it in like a kind of consistent way. You know what I mean? Um, Dude, it's okay, Zhao. Just in your mind, go through the rules that you do know, right? Okay, so shade got 30. Eighteen rad three minus six pi, okay. And that's uh auditioning. Nice dude. No clue. Oh, dude, did I stump you guys? Uh -oh. <laughs> Saggy. This was supposed to be the easy one, bros. Got six. Okay, April. Uh, Saggy got six. Uh, Nazir. Dan's. All right. Wiz. 
People seem to be going around this six answer. I'll see, what, see if this is right. Dude, yesterday the bandwagon totally failed the chat. It was kind of funny. Uh, Nahar? Tay just is going to jump on a bandwagon. All aboard, dude. All aboard the bandwagon. Here we go. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah. Uh, okay. Richie, Asta Labor, Rusum. Dude, Rusum. It's your birthday tomorrow, bro. Asta Labor. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Now you think it's easy, Zhao. Ah, okay. Shad got six, too. Leo. All right. A lot of people come around this six answer. Zrizzy. All right, cool. So that's definitely enough time for this one. Three minutes, enough time. That's enough time for you. You can do this. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and just start labeling some stuff that I notice about this diagram. The first thing is that we have a 90 degree angle there. We also know that this arc is 6 pi. The whole area of this circle is going to be 36 pi. How do I know that? Because PE is 6 feet, and that's a radius. So the radius squared times pi. 36 pi and this this part of the circumference is 6 pi feet so if we know that the whole thing is 36 6 pi over 36 pi obviously is 1 sixth so that means that this is 1 sixth of the circle and 1 sixth of 360 degrees is a 60 degree circle uh so that's 60 that's 30 up in there. We know PB is also a radius, so PB is going to be 6. And now, if you are an absolute legend, you know your 30, 60, 90 triangles. And that is why this is so hard. That's why this problem is so hard. Because if you don't know your 30, 60 triangles, you're going to have a really, really rough time. Um, so the way a 30, 60 triangle works, I'm going to flip this page over so y'all can see it. There's two different types of super common right triangles. There is a, oh gosh, both of these are so ugly. Uh, 60, 30, and that's 90, supposedly. 45, 45, and that's 90, supposedly. So if this is x, this is going to be x rad 3, and this is going to be 2x. And if this is x and this is x, this is going to be x rad 2. So that's something if you can memorize, you're going to be an absolute boss. For example, this could be one, or sorry, this would be one. This would be one rad three, and this would be two. This could be four, and this would be four rad three, and this would be eight. So you can do calculations pretty quick if you have these memorized, these 30, 60, 90 triangles. And that's what we're dealing with here. And so notice that off, opposite the 30 is the six, AKA the X, and the length of this is going to be two X. 2x, so the whole thing is going to be 12. But we know that this is 6 already as the radius, so what's left? Just 6. <laughs> Bang. <laughs> Dude, that's how that one goes down. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Dude, April, it's because you're getting good, dude. That's what's up. Thanks, Asta Labor. Shout out to the Triangle Gang. Um, yeah, so that's how this goes down. You have to know your 30, 60, 90 triangles, bros. It's just super, super tough. Um, but that's okay. Uh, <laughs> if, if you were in front of your house with a small phone without paper, bro, you could do it. Just use your brain, Poker. You got a big head. You could do it. All right. Next. Next. It was a sm Oh, I see. I got it. What's up, Brielle? Introvert. Shout out to introvert. It looked like a radius, so you chose six, and you chose the bad bandwagon, dude. You get jump on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, that is true, Zhao. Okay, so let's do this next one. I have a couple that we can do, and they're kind of chill. All right, let's do... We only have three more, so let's just do this one. I'll give you guys three minutes to do this one again, um, just because I want to make sure that you guys have enough time to actually go for it. All right, that's legit. All right, cool. Let's do three minutes. So we got a rectangle, a half circle, and a right triangle. What is the shaded region? I had to say that they were a half circle. <laughs> um, I had to say it was a half circle because that half circle was just really gross looking. So I was like, uh, okay, I'm going to have to tell them that. No, no, you, you know you know what I mean, Pokar. I mean that your brain's really big, dude. It's like you have to have a large head to have a large brain. You can't have a large brain without a large head. You know what I'm saying? Um <laughs> That's a half oval. Dude, I know it's a bad half circle, but I didn't want to redo it. 
Thanks. Thanks, Zhao, for appreciating my art. Not everybody can, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, I'll give you guys like another two and a half minutes on this one or two. That is technically two right triangles. You could say that, Venus. Yeah. Oh, what's up, Venus? It's been a minute. Yeah. Uh, Wiz, that rectangle is being cut in half. So just like when you're make, cutting a, a sandwich triangle, you know what I mean? That's supposed to be a circle, Tammy. That's why I said a half circle. <laughs> just because I knew how bad that drawing was. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I regret everything. Uh, okay, so we got some answers coming in. Um, 8 pi minus 16. Uh, I'll have to cover this up. Sorry. Um, and that was Venna. Henry's got 40 pi. Henry. Um, okay. You can't hear. Are you deaf? Oh, no. 45, 45, 90 triangles. Actually, no, not in this one, bro. This would not be 45, 45, 90, just because it's not a square. It's a rectangle. And I actually don't know the answer to this one. So, if, yeah, dude, we'll go over this, dude. Yeah, I will explain this to you, Shade. Uh, Phoenix, what's up? Phoenix is back. What's up, dude? Uh, cool. Yeah, uh, Anisha. Oh, yeah, remind me of that, because we're doing circles. The question is worded weirdly. Yeah, I know. I know. Um, April. I just was like rushing. My thing is, uh, I don't want to do too much prep. Uh, Alyssa. All right, cool. Uh, so Alyssa's on that. The oval is messing you up, dude. <laughs> Poke. <laughs> it's supposed to be a half circle. I regret everything. Yeah, hold on one, one second on this. Like, let me get back on this. Okay, so that's about enough time. I think three minutes is pretty solid. So let's go over this. Um, I know my drawing is... <laughs> I know my drawing's bad, but... <laughs> I've already apologized so many times, uh, Richie. Uh, Ask the little boy, you got a big number there. We'll go look over it. <laughs> yeah. These are not nice headphones, guys. These are, they're like super old, like what you would get at like a public library. And they're supposed to be noise canceling, but the battery, I just have never had a battery in there. So that's just, uh, that's how I go down. <laughs> okay, so let's go through this problem just because I think it is so hard. Okay, so what we're dealing with is a bunch of different shapes in here. Uh, the first thing, I mean, I actually, I'm trying to think how to solve this. Okay, so the rectangle has, let me, let me zoom out so I can actually like do some work. So the rectangle has an area of 32. I think most people would agree with that, four times eight. This half circle has a radius of four. That means if this whole circle was there pi r squared, this would be 16 pi. But it's actually gonna be half that. So this half circle is actually only eight pi because half of a 16 pi circle, that should make sense. So what is this area sticking out from under the circle? Um, that would be 32 minus eight pi, because what you're saying is this entire rectangle, 32 minus this half circle. So we're gonna get this weird shape around here. And that's gonna be important because we know since it's a circle, that'll be half. So that means that this here is 16 minus four pi. And that means that this air whole area here is also 16 minus four pi, okay? So now we just need to look at what the actual triangle would be. It'd be one half base times height. So it would be 16. So then we would need to subtract what's in here, which is a 16 minus four pi. So what we have is a 16 minus a 16 minus four pi. That's 16 minus 16 plus four pi. That's the answer, four pi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, so that's how this one goes down. Was that hard or what? Dude, did anyone get this up in the chat until I started explaining it? Whoa, I don't think so. I don't think so. Whoa. 
40 pie. Henry got 40 pie. Bro, you were so close. How did you not get that? Whoa. I don't understand. Okay, so let, let me, let's go through this. Let's, re, let's like actually talk about the concept that's present here because it's kind of an interesting one. And is it going to be in the SHSAT? I don't know. This would be actually totally fair game for the SHSAT. So I don't want to like... And I'm going to try to get some redemption on... Oh, hold on. See how bad that was? Hold on. That's right. That's right. No ruler bros. That's how it goes down. All right. So let's talk about this. Let's pretend like another half circle's in here, and let's pretend like my half circle is actually a half circle. All right. So let's pretend that that's a half circle. Um, so let's say that this is 10, and let's say that this is 6. Just to give us a little, that doesn't actually track. So that could be 10, and this could be 5. That tracks. Um, OK, so this is what I'm going to ask you for this question. I'm going to ask you guys, what is the area of this shaded region? That's the question I'm asking you guys, just to kind of break this down. So guys, shaded region. I spelt region wrong. I will not apologize for that. That is the, that is actually the English, the British English way to spell region. So don't even, you can't even hate. I'm unhateable. Um, there we go. All right, bros, minute. Yeah, dude, it's not a lump. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, Sink. I just wanted to freehand it, bro. 50 minus 25 pi. Yeah. Oh, what's up, Drag? Dude, shout out to Drag. He's my first and only donation. So shout out to Drag for sure. <laughs> I was so excited. Yeah, so a lot of people are getting it. 50 minus 12.5 pi. Yeah. Yep. 50 minus 12.5 pi. And that's going to be it. Yeah, a lot of people got that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so it's a half oval no it's not it's a circle so if we do this we know that the whole thing the whole circle is going to be pi r squared so the whole circle is going to be 25 pi half of that is going to be 12.5 pi so that's how much this circle takes up 5 times 10 is 50 minus 12.5 pi lovely lovely and so all that that problem was is if you drew a line from here to here and just asked just asked for how much just this is. That that's all this is. The the old problem. I guess you're looking for the shaded region. So yeah, very similar, see? Very similar. You guys you guys can absolutely do that problem. Absolutely do it. It's up introvert. All right. So cool. Let's yeah, it is kind of easy. So let's go over. I got two more that I want to try with you guys, and then we can jump into like requests. I have two, and they're both kind of hard. So <laughs> uh, let me actually zoom out a little bit. All right. Let's see if this works. If it fits. No, it doesn't. All right. I'm gonna give you guys like three minutes to do this one. I think it's kind of hard. Uh. So let's get it. Uh, log sines and cosines, is that algebra two? I have no idea. I got 12.5 pi because the area of the whole circle would have been 25 pi. Yeah, drag is breaking it down. And then you just divide that 25 pi by half. Yeah. Yep, that's perfect, drag. So I'm actually going to give you guys like four minutes for this one. Um so that you can actually draw this diagram on your own piece of paper um, and label it properly. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more just so you can read it all. So I really am gonna give you like four more minutes for this one, just because I wanna make sure you guys have a chance to, um, you know, yeah, draw this one. So I can read the text down below if you can't read it. Um, I know. 
GCDF is a parallelogram, this shape down here, parallelogram. GAP and PBC equal 60. That's this angle right in here and this angle right in there equals 60. GP equals PC equals AP equals BC equals 10. And circle P has an area of 64 pi. What is the shaded region? <laughs> <laughs> dude people if you think this one is difficult just get ready just get ready bros um these now like people are like whoa is this gonna be on the test the the short answer is yes because these concepts are gonna be on the test yeah i combine them into one huge mega problem but just work through it bro just work through it so what do you, my question then, Wiz, is what do you need to find the sector of a circle? You know what I mean? You got a diagnostic this test? Good luck, man. Yeah, dude. Thanks, Anthony. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, I'll give you guys like two and a half more minutes. You guys can do this one. Just believe in yourself. Ah, there you go. There you go, Bob. Just guess and check, yeah. It's okay. You can be confused for a little bit, but just remember, you got to work through this. What pieces of information do you need to know? Dude, no need to be dumb. You you could do it. Just believe in your own brain. <laughs> One half pi r to the two thirds. Can you write that again, Bob? Dan's got fifty one point three three. We'll see if that's like in terms. Is is that in terms of pi, Dan's? Uh, yeah. Just rewrite that uh problem, Bob. No clue. Wow. All right, dudes. Uh, I'll give you a minute and a half more. One. <laughs> Bookar, could you uh reduce that, bro? And uh, April, can you reduce that a little bit? Combine those pies. <laughs> 68 pie for that shot. All right. Dude, I'd be impressed if anybody got an answer. Yeah, you need to know part over whole. That's exactly it. <laughs> it's okay, April. Auditioning 160 minus 32 pie. That's odd. Uh, a lot of people got that. Oh, no, that's just you retyping it. One half pi r squared, but there should be no variables in your answer, Bob. <laughs> Thirty-two pi over three. You can't change your answer auditioning. It's too. Oh, you, that was your. Wait. <laughs> you got it. Is it divided by three? Did I miss that earlier? All right, I got you auditioning. Um, plus ten and two thirds pi poke. I think that's the same answer. Okay, so 15 more seconds, guys. I can't write down everybody's answer here. All right. Oh, yeah, you are giving hints. Thanks, Bob. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Okay, so that's enough time to go through this problem. I know there's not that many answers. Uh, Crunchy also got this, so it seems like people are kind of coming around this one. Uh, you know me, huh? 32 pi plus 64 over 3 pi. Oh, my gosh. All right, so let's go through this one. Okay, so let's go through this one. Yeah, that's actually correct, Tammy. I don't know why you got caught up in the spam filter there. I am torturing innocent kids. That is correct. Um, okay, cool. So let's go through this. First thing that we have to recognize is that this line PE is the height of this parallelogram. Now, if you know that tangent lines and radiuses form 90 degrees, that helps. But if you just look at it, you can see that this goes straight up and down. Um, so that's going to be our height, and that's going to be the radius. Since the area of this circle is 64 pi, that means that the radius is going to be 8. Okay? So that's the height to the parallelogram. GP is 10. PC is 10. 
So we have a parallelogram with a base of 20 and a height of 8, and so we multiply those together. So the area of the parallelogram is going to be 160. Now we have to subtract this half circle. It's going to be 160 minus 32 pi. So let me write that right here. 160 minus 32 pi. That's going to be for this bottom half of the diagram. Okay, that's the shaded region for the bottom half of the diagram, top half of the diagram. So GP, this angle here, equals PC, or this line here, AP, this line here, and BC, this line here, are all equal. We also know that this is 60, and we know that this is 60. So if this is 60, that means this is 60, which means this is 60. Dudes, these are, I, these are equilateral triangles. So this is 120. This would be two-thirds of, wait, no, one-third of the circle. So one-third of 64. Uh, this is not going to be clean. I'm just telling you right now. Three. Um, so that would be two, six, four, one, 21 with a remainder of one-third. Okay, so the top here is going to be 21 and one-thirds pi that's this shaded area here okay so now we just add in our two shaded areas together <laughs> dude now everybody's coming with their answers nice 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 okay so it's 160 minus 32 pi minus the quantity of 21 and one third pi so 32 minus 21 21 would be 1 11 and then minus an additional one third would be 10 and two thirds. The answer will be 160 minus 10 and two thirds pi. Oh, wait, actually, you know what? Nope. I lied to you. I absolutely lied to you because <laughs> you should be proud, April, because this would be a minus a minus. So I actually have to add them together. Ooh. So it would be 160 minus 53 and one third pi. That's the answer. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> oh, because it would be plus. I am so dumb. Ah, why do I keep doing that to myself? It is 160 minus 10 and two thirds pi. Ah, because it's going to be plus. You add the shaded regions. Answer. 60 minus 10 and two thirds pi. That's it. This one goes down. If you guys had that, pat yourself in the back. Anna Cat, shout out to you for not reducing your answer. <laughs> shout out to Poke for getting it, dude. Shout out for these bros for getting it. Really, really nice. Really, really nice. This is hard. <laughs> this is very hard stuff. And speaking of very hard stuff, I have one more for you guys. Why don't I add the thing from the parallelogram in the circle? What do you mean? Uh, so I got one more for you guys uh, to try. Um, so hopefully this this actually I think is my best made problem. So here we go. Oh, did I forget pi? I did forget pi. Shout out to uh, Poke for being my shout out to Poke and for Anthony for being my proofreaders. There you go. Nice. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of true saggy yeah whatever it's just like um I, I don't know what to say man it's just like i don't know like the it, that's that's why i made deep mind it's like you can know all of these crazy concepts like you can know this crazy concept and how to find like the rest of this circle and you can know your 30 60 90 triangles whatever but if you have like mechanical errors like you know i just did in that last problem and you don't catch it well then that's bad man that's as you might as well not know how to do it conceptually you know what i'm talking about uh yeah <laughs> yeah shout out to buster and Wiz for yeah hyping the stream i love it dude all right cool so the very last problem i'm gonna give you guys like three minutes shout out to shod too thanks buddy uh, <laughs> like or die <laughs> okay so shout out to the last one uh shout out to this last question i'm gonna give you guys like four minutes to try to solve this one i think this is my best made question because it's my first one that i made um so i wasn't like being lazy all right so here it comes it's like coming from the horizon all right bro so here it is here's the question i wonder if i can get a timer going that would actually be way sicker no i don't like that all right, so this is what we're going to do. This is the look. All right, let's get it. 
I'll give you guys like four minutes for this. Let's go. Tutti. <laughs> Dude, that 2D thing is so funny to me. I don't know why. Should I play Deep Mind in the stream? Uh, nah, because that would give it away, dude. Oh, yeah. Anisha had some questions. We can do that after this. Just remind, as soon as we're done with this one, Anisha, just remind me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, there's no static. Don't lie to me, skills. Yeah, I want to know what the shaded region is, guys. Yeah. So for this one, we are just, yeah, you do need paper, bro. So I'm gonna give you like a minute to try to draw this one out. Um, yeah, cause it's a little advanced, but you guys can do this. All of the concepts are here. You can do this. Just remember, um, no props to you, Batman. <laughs> Wiz 43 minus pi already, dude? Whoa, 43 minus pi, you got your 42. <laughs> got you, bro. Dude, what a time to be alive. Is it really static or am I getting trolled again? I got trolled pretty hard yesterday into thinking there was static. There was static. But it's just I don't know what's up with my mic. It's been working really well. I haven't I haven't really changed it. What's up, skills? Yeah, so I I, I don't know. Huh. I forgot to start the timer when we started, so I'll give you guys like three and three like four more minutes. Oh, what's up, Tenzin? Yeah, dude, it's been a minute. <laughs> yeah, I figured, Sing. It was too good to be true, for sure. Yeah, dude, I figured Anthony. I But in my heart, I was hoping that the static would come back. But I really think it was just a summer thing, dudes. I, I mean, if you go back to the old streams, at about 50 minutes, pretty reliably, there was static. Uh, okay, a boss got the same thing. Okay, I'll give you guys like two and a half more minutes. If I explain it but don't do the math, do you get credit? Maybe April. Depends how good your explanation is. <laughs> if it's really good, then yeah. All right, I'll give you guys like two more minutes on this one. I think it's hard. It's okay, Zhao. Just try to neaten it out. Try to straighten it out, bro. You can do it. Oh, 180 degrees is actually an extremely relevant number for this problem. Okay, I'll give you guys a minute and a half more. You could do it in inordinate, inordinate ping. Just believe in yourself. Yeah. Yeah, dude. <sighs> you guys could solve this. I kind of more just interested in you guys solving this. Because I think it's kind of hard. But if you can get this, then you're going to be superstar, basically. Okay. Tejas is on this, too. Too hard? Maybe. Maybe it is too hard, but you'll you'll look back at this one day and you will chuckle. You'll laugh. You'll go, ah, ha, ha, ha. I'm so much smarter now. Asta Labor, of course. Got you. Uh, Alyssa, seems like a lot of people are going to go on to this 43 minus pi number. Yeah, Spore Show. I wonder if that's the right answer. Spore Show. Uh, you can do it, Nahar. Just push through, bro. Then, uh, is anyone going to break the mold? Ooh, shade. 90 plus 18 pi. Shade breaks the mold. Nice. Um, that's a good triangle. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> no, it's not a square, yeah. What's my most viewed video? Probably uh, how the SHSAT is scored, to be honest. Shod. 
just because people have no idea how it's scored i think for the most part sports show i got you bro bandwagon yeah uh sing uh okay april's gonna tr try do her best to drop an explanation so if you guys are confused you can check out what she's got to say maybe it's right you got the same thing as shade ask the labor but you were the one of the first to put 43 minus pi what can i say but i can't change your answer Ooh, sing muster got it too okay well, everybody seems to be co-signing this. I don't know if it's the bandwagon or... Yeah, you will scoff in 60 years. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, so that is enough time. I'm going to go through this one. There's a lot of concepts in here that are packed in that you guys have to know. Um, 120 plus 9 pi plus triangle on the right. Yeah, Poke, you're in the filter, dude. I can't. Um, it's confusing. 120 pi plus... Okay, so let's go through this. I'm ready. I'm ready. So, how do we do this? Uh, <laughs> okay, so this is 6. This is 6. So that means this is 12. And that means the radius is 6. So we know that this whole circle, if it was a whole circle, would be 36 pi. So that's a good thing to start with. Okay. So, bros, check out the sneaky sneak that I sneaked into here. This is a right triangle, too. So right angle, right angle, that adds up to 180. That adds up to a half circle, dudes. 90 plus 90 is a half circle. So what's up? So we know that this plus this will also be 180. This could be like 120 and whatever, 50, 40, you know, 70 or 60 or whatever. Like, it doesn't matter, because this is a half circle and this is a half circle. So we already know that these two parts add up to 18 pi. That's our first kind of indication that we can really crush this problem. Next, we know that this is a fourth of the circle. This is a fourth of the circle. So that means that this is 9 pi right up in here, and this is 9 pi right up in here. So we know how to find this because we know that EP is 10. We know that this is 12. So this whole thing right here is going to be 120 minus that 9 pi. That's this shaded region right there. Okay, so we have that shaded region. We have these two parts in that shaded region. Now we need this last shaded region. Well, there was a reason I put a right triangle right there for sure. And it wasn't because I wanted you to solve this. It's because that this is the height of this big triangle. That's the height. So if we can solve for BA, we can solve for the height. So PA is 10. This right triangle is 10. That's a 6, 10. We know that this is going to be 8. I could go through the Pythagorean theorem and go 6 squared, plus a squared equals 100, and then a squared equals 64, a equals eight. You could do that, or you could just know it's a three, four, five triangle times two. So we know that the height of this triangle is eight. We know that HA is 14, so it's gonna be one half base times height, or eight times 14, so it's going to be 56. So that's what this triangle is, minus that nine pi that's no longer there. So here are our three shaded regions that we have. We have what's outside this rectangle. We have these two chunks of the circle, which is half of the circle. And we have this triangle minus this area right up in here. So now we add these three numbers together and we get it. So it'd be 120 plus 56 is 176 minus 9 pi minus 9 pi is minus 18 pi plus 18 pi. The answer here is 176. Wow. <laughs> it says PA equals 10. Yeah, that's the hypotenuse of this triangle. Yeah, that's the hypotenuse of this triangle. So then BA would be 8. So yeah, that actually works out perfectly. Yeah, that's good to go. Uh, total area for the rectangle is 120 because from here to here is 6, from here to here is 6. So that's 12, this whole thing. And it says in the prompt that EP equals 10, so it would be 12 times 10. And since this is a 90 degree angle, this is 1 fourth of the circle, 1 fourth of 36 pi is going to be 9 pi. So that's how I got that. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. 
so that's how i got it dude so the whole area for this rectangle is 120 minus 9, 9 pi Ooh, yeah that just goes to show the bandwagon for sure dude how'd i get half because this is 90 and that's 90 so both of these combined is 180 and that's half of the whole circle 360. so let's actually do a quick redemption problem just so you can see how this really the hardest part of this is actually just a really kind of small trick and i'll show you guys the trick super fast um so check this out look at this beautiful circle wow that actually was pretty legit um so let's say this would be the center and let's do something like this where we do like that like that and then we draw that and then we draw that all right so you guys get the idea so let's just say this is 90 degrees and this is 90 degrees and if the whole area let's just say something easy so it'd be um half so let's just say that this is eight feet the radius Okay, what would be the shaded region? Cool, so here's your redemption, bros. What's the shaded region on this shape? Tyler 2D in July. <laughs> Dude, that's actually, you know me, huh? That is actually a super legit point. He says, I swear this is gonna be a field question on the test, I'm gonna spend like 20 minutes on it. Dude, that's legit, because if you spend 20 minutes on a test, on one question, you're gonna ruin your timing. And dude, I've seen it. I've done a lot of like proctoring and stuff. I've seen kids who spent like eight minutes on one problem. And then when they get done with the problem, even if they, even if they get it right, they are so freaked out looking at the time that, you know, it's like, you know, it's like they, 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 they like ruin their test. Okay, cool. So a lot of people are going to with 32 pi. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, I mean, that's just the whole chat. <laughs> what is put? Whiz put 42, my guess uh i can't see it whatever yeah so dude yeah everybody's got 32 pi yeah that's exactly it dudes that's exactly it and that's exactly what this problem is too because that's 90 degrees and that's 90 degrees so it is the half of a circle so it would be 18 pi total just like this is half of 64 32 pi this is half of 36, which is 18 pi. So we know from the whole circle, 18 pi is missing. Um, that means that 18 pi makes up the rest of this. Just like in this, the unshaded aspect would also be 32 pi, the same as this. Dude, your pen exploded? Man, that is crazy. Can we do the second question? Dude, Tejas, you never sent me answers to that thing I emailed you. Ooh, I knew they would be hard. Um, but yeah. Uh, what do you think? better <laughs> do you think you ever make artwork better than american flag no uh, <laughs> 90 degree for the last question no i got it 90 and 90 bruh i got it no stress uh electric pen do you think they'll ever make art uh ela or math first ask the labor you got to ask yourself what's your likelihood of getting a perfect section and try to do that section first dude wiz is having a crisis with his <laughs> uh, <laughs> dude wiz take a picture of it i want to see that put it on the discord i want to see the i want to see the oil spill on your desk yeah so yeah nahar if you feel like you can crush ela do ela first yeah uh, uh. Uh, yeah, exactly. All right, Peter the Pen. That's an interesting username for sure. Okay, yeah, whatever you, dude, no, ask the board. If you feel like ELA is going to take more time, do it second, because that means you're better at math and you need to crush one of your sections, dude. Yeah, exactly. That's a good explanation, Anisha. That's really nice. <laughs> yeah, Wiz's life is going down the straight uh yeah okay cool all right so yeah everybody got that pretty pretty hardcore um awesome awesome so let me see who sent me those problems yesterday was it no it wasn't spooky was it asta labor that sent those um oh, i was anisha yeah anisha put some problems together mm. yep Okay, we got some tire radio. Ooh. Okay. 
Ooh. Okay, that's a good one. All right, let's do that. So let me draw this up real quick. Um, I'm going to adjust your numbers a little bit just so that it works out slightly differently. Okay. So uh, something like that. All right, Tejas, I just got your email, bro. Something like that. And something like that. You guys get what I'm trying to make here, right? This is a rectangular cylinder. Um, so that's like a right angle down there. Um, All right, so I know I kind of like chicken scratch this, but it's actually a really good question because they may ask three-dimensional questions like this and you have to understand them. Um, so yeah. Yeah, like a rectangular cylinder. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that's a good idea, Batman, if you have the time, right? Don't be stressed, Cindy. Get control of it. You can get it. Yeah, that would that would just be a cylinder, yeah. As to the board got twenty. Yeah, if it's inside it out, that's what we're looking for. Zrizi got ten pi. Just got your email, Vena. I'll have to check that. Twenty pi. Oh, you meant pi on this. I'll I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Poke. Saggy and a cat. Rona Nazir. Huh? Uh, cool. Poke. Already got you, dude. <laughs> Pews. Shot, dance, dance. <laughs> Got you, dance. <laughs> Geek. Got you. About 37, Xiao, Jason. Auditioning. Got you, bro. Muster got 12 pi. Got you, Muster. Word. Uh, dude, April, did I skip you again? My bad. What did you get? Inside and out, geek. Ooh. Big oof. Phoenix. Yeah. Devin. Devin got 10 pie. What's up, Devin? Uh, president. Nice. Uh, muster. Where's April so I can skip her again? 15. Just kidding. <laughs> Richie. All right, cool. All right, that's enough. So let's go over it. Sorry, Dan's too late. April got 20. All right, got you. How could I forget? What a classic. Tay just got 22. Jages. <laughs> Sometimes you're Jages, dude. What can I say? All right, so let's go over this. Um, how this one is done. That's enough time for sure. All right, dudes. Ask yourself what happens if you unravel this. Like, have you ever seen like a can of Pringles? Imagine if a can of Pringles had no bottom and you just unraveled it. So it's no longer a, a cylinder. It's just a flat piece of cardboard. It would actually be a rectangular piece of cardboard. Like if you have like a cylinder, uh, I have to draw another cylinder. I apologize just for to life for my cylinders. If you were to unravel the cylinder, it would actually look like a rectangle, right? Just like a, a sleeping bag would or like whatever, you know what I'm saying? So what this length is will be the five feet still. 
what this length is going to be is their circumference. Wow, I did not plan that word. Circumference. So that's what this measurement is because it'll be whatever the length around it is. So with the area of one, or I'm sorry, with the radius of one, that means that it has a diameter of two. That means the circumference will be two pi. So what we get is two pi times five, we get 10 pi. And that is a pretty good answer, but it's not actually correct because I'm looking for inside and out. So we not only need to find the area on this side, but we got to flip it over and find the area on the other side as if we were going to paint the insides and outside of this thing. So you actually have to multiply that by two. And that's why the correct answer is 20 pi. Look at those, look at those absolute legends. Yeah. So if you got 10 pi, dude, shout out to you because you were able to find out what the outside surface area is. Bruh. That's why I wrote that. <laughs> yeah. So everybody that got 10 pi, I mean, pat yourself on the back, but don't pat yourself on the back too hard because you didn't get it right. But you can pat yourself on the back just like a little bit. But the, for those of you who got 20 pi, that's what's up. You disagree? No. Do you the problem you sent me? Let's see. Yeah, the top and bottom are missing. Yeah. Uh, let's see this problem better. Oof. Um, A, E, B is equilateral. What is the measure of D, E, C? Uh, that problem is really heinous that's 60 oh that's actually a really good problem Venna. we might just do that in the og stream for sure because that question's really good you want a redemption nazir uh yeah the top and the bottom are missing bro um yeah, I didn't find the area of the top. It's because they're missing, dude. They're not exposed to whatever. Um, how do we put our answer in vid form? I don't know. Upload a video and just post it and tell me. I'll go watch it. <laughs> Tages, I can't. I'm not gonna go over those questions in this stream, dude. They're too hard. Uh, yeah. If, okay. Yeah, Anna, Anna Cat. If you get into sty, I will buy you lunch. Yeah. <laughs> I'll show up at your school. I'll go, where's Anakit? I need to get I need to get some lunch to that guy. <laughs> Where is it being held? Tages, I'm not gonna go over that second question, dude. It's too hard. I yeah, I emailed it to you and I was just curious if you could even do them. Um Thanks, Sing. Uh that's a good question. I don't know. I don't know, Muster. It's just is a cylinder. Um <laughs> Okay, cool. So let me do another problem. Um, let's see. That. Yeah, I can buy you lunch too, Tejas. I'll, I'll buy all of you guys lunch. So just we'll we'll meet up. I'll get you guys. I'll get you guys uh, ham ham burritos, and we'll kick it. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. So let's see. <laughs> yeah, Rolls Royce. Sure, man. Okay. All right, so what should we do? What should we do for problems? Uh, Venus, um, Venna, I think that that problem's way too hard. Uh, we could we could definitely do it, but it would take like ten minutes for me to explain it. Uh, dude, congratulations, welcome back, Rusum. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can come to dance. I got you for a ham burrito. <laughs> it's like, what is a ham burrito? Uh, yeah, they're hard questions. So, yeah, you got it too, Zhao. I got you. Uh, that's what you want. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm taking orders. Asta Labor, I got you for a pizza. You can't eat ham. That's okay. I'll get you something else, bro. What do you like? You like chicken? <laughs> you want cake? <laughs> Dude, your lunch is really expensive, Fuse. Uh, a realized exponential function that's a little complicated? <sighs> yeah, I can. Um, That's actually a really good idea, April. Let's do that.
What would that even be? Well, let's just do crops. Uh, actually, I really don't like this question. Let me redo it. Okay, cool. So here is a question. Um, yeah. Do, 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 do. No, this is not the last question. No, we're still cruising. Um, do, 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 do. Could do graphing? Graphing is not really going to be on the test. We can talk about it, though. Um, and slow food? Yeah, that's like barbecue. That's like slow food, dude. You want McDonald's? I got you. You want a 49-pound steak? If you, yeah. Yeah, man, I got you, dude. Uh, yeah, and Tejas, I'll tell you, you know, if you got it right or not. Um, those are supposed to be apples. I know it's really poorly, <laughs> poorly written. Okay. All right, cool. So here's the question. Um, I did not format this very well. Thank you very much. Um, actually, you know what, let's just do this. All right, word. So here's the question. Here's your formula. Um, and this is an example of like where they just try to confuse you with information, but the actual math of it is not that hard. So here's the question. I'll give you guys like two minutes to do this one. So let's get it. AD is after death. That's like it's either BC or AD. Um, I just wrote a four for the year, and I was like, oh, can't be year 400. Well, maybe it could have been 400, but not 4,000. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what's up. Let's get it. <laughs> Stop making fun of my apples. <laughs> They're really cool, guys. <laughs> 263? Okay, Poke. Dude, Poke. Are you still not using paper, dude? That's crazy. So that's poke and huh? Zhao? Whoops. Sorry, dude. <laughs> poke? That's so funny. You're like introvert? Oh, no, that's not yours. Uh, ham apples? Yeah, you can have ham apples, Archdeep. Arch I got you, dude. Dance, you might want to check your uh, your multiplication there, my dude. Yep, poke. That's exactly it. Arch deep, got you, bro. Uh, I'll give you guys another thirty seconds. Brielle, all right, Brielle, let's get it. You've been doing good recently too, man. Geek president, dude. Right, 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 right. Nice bridge. Um. Geek, uh, let's see, Fuse got 35. All right. Uh, Muster got 263. Muster, word. Uh, Zrizzy. Okay, everybody seems to be coming around that number uh, more or less. Uh, Jason, 348 for Saggy. Got you, dude. All right, word. Um, Zrizi, got you. Okay, cool. That's enough time for sure. Um, all right, so let's go through this. Guys, this is just your ability to understand how you can plug this into work. Okay, so let's see. The first year, year 40, we had seven apples. Okay, so, or that doesn't, yeah. So what about year 41? 
Well, we have to do the equation. That's going to equal a of that next year is going to equal the seven apples of this year plus four to the power of one. So that's just going to be 13. Great. What about 42? Well, that's going to be 13 plus 4 squared. That's going to be 8 plus 13, 21. Year 43. We have 21 plus 4 to the third. Wait, that's not going to be 8. 4 times 4 is 16, so that would be 29. Just checking. Just, that was me checking. That was a trap. That was, so if you guys didn't notice that this should have been 29, then that's on you. Um, cause yeah, I actually, I, I on purpose put 21, eight, um, four, 24, oh no, 64. So 64 plus 29, 29, 13, eight, 93. So there's 93 in this 43rd year. Okay, cool. So let's do the last year, 44. Who knows? We know that we had 93 plus 4 to the 4th. All right? So that's going to be 64 times 4, 16, 24, 25. So 93 plus 256. You can't even see this. 93. That's a 9. That's a 14. That's a 349. 340. What? 7 plus 4 is 11. Uh, oh. <laughs> Dude, that's right. That is right. I tricked you guys. I got you thinking that this was what the math was. No, no, no. <laughs> My math, Tootie. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, so shout out to who who knows that first? Zriz, was it Zrizzy? No, Saggy? No, who, who? <laughs> All right, all right. All right, redemption time. Redemption time. Um all right. So, we know for the year 40, we have 7. 41 is going to be that 7 plus 4 to the 1. And guys, don't get don't get tripped up. This is easy stuff. 4 plus 7 is 11, guys. Don't get tricked here. Don't get tricked. <laughs> 41. 42. It's going to be the answer is 11 plus 4 times 4 is 16. So that'd actually be 27. Uh, 43 would be that 27 plus, what did we say this was? 64. So 64 plus 27. That's got to be careful. Remember, this is 11, dudes. <laughs> Six, eight, ninety-one. Okay, ninety-one, and then for year forty-four, it's going to be ninety-one plus sixty-four times four. I'm going to do that again. Um, is sixteen twenty-four twenty-five plus two fifty-six. We add the ninety-one. We get a seven three. How did I get three forty-seven again? Oh, three forty-eight. Is this the right answer? Oh my gosh, is this the right answer? I am like, <laughs> I am like too blown away to even like think about this. Hold on. 256, 91, because then that means that nobody got it right. That means that nobody got it right, which is crazy. I mean, Saggy was really close. One off, dude. So yeah, I got two. How did everybody get that answer? <laughs> That's true, Tejas. Yeah. So, yeah, dude, that's the answer. 347. Nobody got it. Dude, how did nobody get this? It's 347. Wow. Dude, it's just compound, bro. It's just compound. That's all we're doing. We're just plugging in the previous year for the next year. Do you guys want to do a redemption? Let's do a redemption. I need a redemption too, bros. Okay, I'm going to make this problem less kind of spurky. It's going to be good, too. All right. Um. Mm. 
Uh, what would that, hold on. It would be... This is too hard, hold on. Let me make this a little easier. Um, yeah, so here, this will do it. So. Uh, Okay, cool. All right, that's a question mark. All right, let's get this. Redemption for me, redemption for you, the whole crew. Let's get it. So we have an equation, a of n equals 2a times 2a sub t plus 4x to the power of x. Let me read that again, actually. a subscript n equals 2a subscript t plus 4 to the power of x. a of n is next year. a of t is this year. x equals years since 2000. In 2000, I had a dollar. How much did I have in 2005? Redemption, bros. Absolute redemption. Yeah, I'll be live streaming tomorrow for sure. Poke, is that an answer? 4,004, dude? Ooh, I saw it, dude. I saw it. <laughs> okay, I'll give you guys, like, another minute on this one. This is actually... I know these styles of questions because it's actually from the SAT, which is for high school. And I just made an easier version of this for you guys, but it's something that they may ask because it's not like a super hard question, but it's tricky. You know what I mean? You mean, you saw how I kind of like went through the first one, dude. <laughs> dude, poke. <laughs> uh, all right, about 10 more seconds, guys. Let's wrap it up. Uh, 128, Zrizzy. All right, got you, Zrizzy. All right, that's about as much time as you guys should take to do this one. Um, yeah, that's pretty true, Tejas. Saggy is a, a total beast, especially today, man. Saggy's really ripping it up. Zao got that too. Dude, is the redemption real? Is the redemption real? Um, Zao got 128. Muster got 496. Got you, Muster. That's nice. 12188. That's uh, Richie. Word. Um, Arshdeep got 356. Word. Uh, Richie got 128. Richie. Um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah. 356. Got 2016. <laughs> I got you, huh? Wait, 2016. And that's huh. All right, word. Okay. Uh, Dan's got 24 bucks. <laughs> uh, uh, let's see. Nade Blade got 128. Got you, Nade. Uh, Jason. Um, Tay just got an answer pretty close to Pokes. <laughs> okay, Saggy got 1400 All right, so let's see how that affects the pile here. 1370 Phoenix. Dude, let's, let's talk about our subtraction and our addition. Yeah. Okay, Venna also got 2016 is kind of interesting all right chill um all right four eight six four all right so i'm gonna go through this now um so yeah let's go through this and how to do this all right bro. all right so just like before but watch me watch me watch me receive redemption so we have the year 2000 so i'm just gonna go oh oh to represent the year 2000 and we have one dollar total so for the year 2001 01 we're gonna have to put it into this equation where it's going to equal two times whatever we had this year which is one plus four to the first so that's going to be two plus four so that's going to be six oh two oh three oh four and oh five next to this problem that i almost did but i didn't do you could ignore that so we're going to keep cruising so we know that we have six so we're going to have to put it in six plus four squared that's the same thing as 12 plus 16 that's going to be 28 this is going to get real big real fast so we have two times the quantity of 28 plus four to the third that's going to be 56 plus 64 which is kind of interesting so that's going to be 66 that's going to be 120 straight up that's kind of cool. Is that how that works out? Yeah. <laughs> Look over there. Where am I looking for, bro? All right, cool. Oh, you did the equation for 2000. Oy. Yeah. Yeah, so we had the money that year. Oh, no. Yeah, since 2000. Yeah. Okay, cool. So let's do this next step because we know we have 120. Two times 120 plus four to the fourth. So what is 64 to the fourth? 16, 24, 25. So that would be 240 plus 256. So that would be 496, 496. And then we do it one more time. So two times the quantity of 496 plus four to the fifth. And that's going to be times four one more time. Four, 20, 22, 8, 9, 10, 10, 24. So that's going to be 10, 24 over here. And two times that, that's minus four. So it's going to be minus eight of a thousand. So that's going to be 992. That's what's up. <laughs> How you forget to multiply by two? No, I didn't. Did I? No, no, I did not. Um, so yeah, that's good to go. So now we just need to, <laughs> they just tried to do the circle game. Uh, so yeah, the final answer, ha shout out to gaming channel. I guess it's his birthday. He has no friends, just like me. Um, <laughs> so what is this answer? It's going to be 10, 24 plus nine, nine, two. It's be six, one, zero, one, 2016. Oh! <laughs> Whoa! Dude, huh? And Venna. Absolute legends. Wow. That's good, bros. That's really good. Good job. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay good stuff bros good stuff uh, oh my
my gosh, hold on. I just, my OBS is having some issues. Okay. All right, bros. That's the stream for today.